Hello everyone, we will continue the topic but how we can go for multiple subscreens and as a part of that, we created three screens. One is normal, two are subscreens. We designed the layout for 100 screen. We designed the layout for 101 screen. We declared the respective internal table and work areas. Now we will go for 102 subscreen and we will design the layout there. You all know very, very well, yes, whenever we have item data, we always, always has to go for table control because items are always, always multiple multiple rows. So whenever we want to display that data in the form of rows and columns, multiple rows, we always, always has to go for table control. So I will go to change mode of the program and I will go for 102. And yes, Whenever we will go for table control, we require internal table. We already declared the internal table. That's why we did the declaration part first. Never, never forgot to activate the part. Else, whenever we will go for table control, you will not be able to access the internal table. So I will go to 102 now. <laughs> we'll go for, I will click on to layout button. <coughs> Sorry. Now I will go for table control with wizard. We are always, always preferring now table control with wizard. I will take and I will drop. This is already covered two times in the previous videos. Now we have so many steps in the table control with wizard. Whatever is in yellow color, that is a current running step. Whatever is in red color, it means it has not finished yet. And but it has not started yet, if I will say. And whenever some step will convert to green color, it means that step is done. So currently we are on start. It is in yellow color. It means it is a current going step. I will click on to continue. Now first step converted to green color. It means first step is done. I will give some name to that table control. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. Suppose I am saying TC underscore order. I will go for continue. Now second step also converted to green color. It is done. Now we have two radio buttons here. Dictionary table or internal program table. Yes, we declared the internal table. So we will go for second radio button. That's why I told you to activate that part. Now. I will go to F4 help and I will choose the internal table. For the item details, please go for second internal table because one time you choose the wrong internal table and table control generated, it is very, very difficult to again do the table control because we need to manually delete the logic for the table control. So do the right thing at that point of time. I will choose the internal table. I will choose the table work area. Yes, we have the work area. And I will go for LWA data one. This is our second work area. Now I will go to continue. This third step converted to green color. Now I will choose all the four columns. These are the four columns which we declared in the internal table. 
So all four columns appear. I will select. I will go to continue. Now we will simply, simply, they are our output fields. Yes. We know call, we want column header or labels. Yes. So four step converted to green color. I will go for continue. Fifth step also converted to green color. I will select scroll. Yes, because if we have so many data, yes, scrolling should be there. I will go to continue. Fifth step converted to green color. Now we will simply go for continue. Sixth step converted to green color. Now seventh step converted to green color. Sorry. Now it's finished. So we finished with all the steps. We select that checkbox for scroll. That's why we are getting this radio. We are getting this buttons. If you see these buttons, this button is for the next entry, previous entry. Once I will show you the output, we will get these four buttons. And why we get these root four buttons? Because we select the checkbox for the scroll. I will save. I will close. And now I will simply, simply activate. I will go to the top of the program. I will go to display mode. And now I will activate so that everything will be activated together. If I will go to 102 screen, see, we have not written this logic. This logic came automatically because we used table control with Wizard. That's why I told you, yes, if some mistake is there, we need to manually delete the logic after that. Similarly, in PAI also, we have the logic. We have not, I have not written this logic. If I will go to the top of the program, you can see this so much logic is generated because we used table control with Wizard. Now, now we will go for next step. What I will do, we all know we cannot run a module pool program independently. We always, always require a transaction code. So I will create a transaction code for this module pool program. Now you all know if you want to create your own transaction code, you can go to SC93 transaction code or you can create from here also. Ultimately, it will take you to SC93. So I will simply right click, create transaction. I will give some name to that transaction code. This is SC93 pop-up only. Suppose I'm saying Z module pool. Suppose I will say underscore eight. Suppose I will give transaction code. Now I will simply, simply choose the radio button and anyways it is ticked. Program and time pro. Time pro means screen. It is at the first level itself. Module pool programming is also called as dialog programming. So we will go for first radio button. Do not go for second radio button. That is we are using in executable program. At that time, we have the report word there in the program. We'll go for OK. Now, I will pass the program for which program we are creating transaction code. I will copy and paste. Now, I will go to the drop help of the screen number. You can see we are getting three screens. Do not go for sub screen. Go for normal screen. 
because sub screen will display in the normal screen. So we choose 100 screen and I selected these three checkboxes. As of now, our GUI is for Windows, but for the best, always take all the three checkboxes. I will save. Now you can see we are getting one extra thing for the transactions. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we designed the layout for 102 screen. 102 is for item details. That's why we created the table control with wizard. And after that, we activated the program and then we simply, simply created the transaction code. In the next video, we will start with the logic part of this particular program. Then we will go for handling of subscreens into subscreen area. So that's it in this video. Thank you.